Hello again YouTube, this is driving rant number three and boy is this going to be a rant. Okay, I got a couple things that are beginning to be very annoying and I want to talk about them and I, I really do hope that my Facebook friends people at work, the spying, and whoever else, that everybody will hear this one right here, including some of my uh, people that I deal with on YouTube, people that I'm subscribed to, people that I watch your videos, um, not everybody, you know, you got some, some that this is not, uh, directed at but I want to be clear on this black people oh black people let's stop talking about unity and how we need to support each other's business and do it And you know what's crazy? It, this just baffled me. When I do DoorDash, man, why it seemed like when I go to some of the restaurants with black workers, then my orders are always late to the customers or something is missing. Why it seemed like a lot of black people, they just follow whatever comes on the idiot box. Oh, they got tattoos? Let's get tattoos. Oh, they got dreads? Let's get dreads. Everything that they see on the TV, they do. And I'll show you something else. You got a lot of people on YouTube that make good content. But if I remember you criticizing preachers for being about money. And some of you criticize preachers for being about money. But then you block people from seeing your videos who you claiming to help because they're not giving to you. Have you ever thought that maybe somebody was finna give to you and they came on your stuff and saw that it was private? So they probably was like, man, this dude just talking for money. I ain't gonna give them nothing. Do not criticize people for what you doing yourself. Are you intelligent enough to realize that? That should be the goal of all of us. Get the plank, get the knife, get the rock, get the glass out of your own eye. Then you'll see clearly to get it out of somebody else. And all these guys, you sitting around drinking coffee, talking about what's going on. And some of y'all don't even have nothing put up for your grandkids. Some of y'all ain't got nothing put up for your kids. You don't have a take. Your opinion doesn't matter if you are not handling your business. Shh. Why are you talking? Are you ignorant? Every man should have life insurance for his kids. Well, I don't want to give no life insurance because they're going to just give it to her. You still should give them something. You don't have a take if you ain't got life insurance, if you ain't got investment, if you ain't got something that's going to go to your kids and grandkids. Why you have kids and grandkids? You ain't going to take care of them. The world is going to try to kill them off already. Some of the some of the hoods, ghettos, these, some of these black kids live in, they already got the odds stacked up against them and you got the nerve. You think you smart. You think you this, you think you that, but you ain't got nothing. I'm telling you right now, I'm not paying for nothing. If somebody in my family die, I'm not paying a dime. Because if you are not uh, mentally ill, you should have at least burial. I'm not paying nothing. I don't care if it's my own parent. I'm not paying nothing. They should have money for burial. They should have money set aside for their kid. And I want to talk to you grandparents that don't deal with your grandkids at all. You don't go see your grandkid. Stop criticizing them then. If you ain't going to do nothing for them, 
Stop criticizing them. If you're doing something for them and they're not doing right, then you could criticize them. You have a right to criticize them. As long as you're looking out for them and trying to leave them something to help them in their life, you can criticize them. But if you ain't doing nothing, some of y'all, you know, y'all ain't doing no better than when we was enslaved. When our ancestors were enslaved, they were enslaved. They couldn't take care of their own. And now you got freedom and you don't want to do nothing. You don't care about money. You don't, oh, man, man, you know, I, I, you only live once. So you buying shoes to show off for some chick that's probably wore out anyway. You wasting your money on drugs. But you talking about with the white man? You can't blame nothing on the white man. You talking about the white man this, the white man that. Did the white man make you get addicted to drugs? Did the white man make you an alcoholic? You can't blame that on no job. You can't blame that on nothing but you and your disrespect towards yourself, your family, and the most high. Look at yourself. Look at yourself and all these women that still had a nerve to be conceited. And you a whole, you was a hoe 10 years ago. You ain't got nothing left talking about who little. He little, this guy little. Or this, uh, man, you, is it him or is it you? And I don't mean to get graphic, but is he too little or are you too big? Which one is it? Because I know, I know. People like to ignore God. They practically, their life is giving God the hand. Remember in the 90s when people gave you the hand? A lot of people, life is giving God the hand. And what's happening? What's happening? So when you have people that's not con connected, communicating with God, and uh, other people start attaching to them, it's like they're not going to be blessed just because of you. You ain't got it. You ain't got it right. So you causing other people not to be blessed. You causing other people to be out here vulnerable. You can't blame that on the white man. Stop telling people to vote Democrat, fool. You talking about vote Democrat. Man, look at the statistics. Democrats have won consistently in the state of Wisconsin, but yet the wealth disparity is getting worse and worse. So, like I said, you got to judge stuff from an individual basis. You got to judge stuff from an individual basis. But also, you need to shut the heck up. I ain't going to say hell in case my mother watching this or something. You know, I want to cuss, but I, co I control myself and then it goes away. Sometimes... In life, you be wanting to tell somebody off. You be wanting to, to practically cuss these people out. 